In this clip, we are going to create a bootmaster record just entering the ISBN number and the other details would be collected by using the Google search and uh, using the internal queue feature in integration framework. Then let's create a new scenario step. Let's call it handle book. And then we can design the flow. First of all, let's start with the inbound adapter. We will select the B1 inbound channel where we will set the items and the data retrieval for service layer object call. Then we can finalize the flow and merge it together. Then we can start with the branching and uh, we can put also the unbranch section. We will put here the express expression as a condition. Afterwards, we will add there a new transformation. We will define the name for the transformation and we can open the source. After using the pretty print, we can start coding. And afterwards, we will use the Google search as a HTTA adapter call type. Let's have an identifier Google search, then HTTA. We will select the destination protocol, which will be HTTPS. Then comes the host and the path. Afterwards, the query would be an expect expression from the previous transformation, and we will finalize the settings. Then we will use again the Excel transformation just to preparing the information for the queue. And we are collecting all the information here in the transformation and everything what we will need to send to get a queue would be added here. Once it is done, then we can add an additional call. And now we are going to use the put to internal queue as a adapter type. And we will have a specific name for this identifier. We will select the queue name and also the express expression, what needs to be copied there. Then we can use the pretty print, we can save the scenario, and the first scenario step is ready. It's time to create the second one, what would be update book. This scenario will handle the business one update itself. The inbound channel would be internal queue, and we will specify the queue name. Then comes the outbound, and we can finalize the flow. Afterwards, we can add the transformation to prepare the service layer call, and we will need to define the name for that source. Then in the source, we will define the transformation itself and, and the web service, uh, the service layer call will come here. Then we can have a new adapter call type and this would be a B1 service layer call. Let's try to select the system ID. We can also specify the identifier and let's select the system ID for the business one, use the method update patch and the object identifier would be items. Key value, again, it will be an express. Now we can save the scenario and it's time to create a deployment. A new deployment would be created with the name books where we will select the two scenario tabs what we have created. For the first one, it is essential to select the system and the system will be the business one sender system and it will be the same what we are updating. As soon as it is done, we can activate the deployment and we can switch to the business one. We can open the item master data and we can create an item master data record. The basic prerequisite is to having an ESBN number here and this will be filled directly to the user defined field. As soon as the item is added, then the scenario will be triggered. We can go to the monitoring and we can verify whether it is running well. If yes, then we can refresh the item master data record. And as you can see, the title, the author and everything else is copied from the Google services. And we can also jump to the page.